and welcome back to Let's Play Deadly Premonition on the PC. Uh, last time we got in town and we haven't really done anything yet, so at this point I believe we have to get to the morgue. Funny thing, I had, I had actually recorded an hour's worth of footage and then the game crashed. None of the footage was uh, s uh, salvageable, but luckily enough these guys think about they play everything in chapters, so you can start from a chapter. That is really helpful, thank you very much to whoever thought of that, that it's very good. Let's, let's get going. The sooner we can get the onward to our little, so shall we say, side it's mission thingy, yes, the better. Quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Agent York isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. Hmm. <sighs> Well then, Agent York, let's get going. Shall we? Sounds good. Are you sure about this? Are you sure you want me to arrive? This is not going to end well. Ah, big map is big. There we go. I'm supposed to be able to put the wipers on, but I have no idea how. Uh, let's see if I can remember the way out of town. Well, we're not really going out of town, but, you know, we need to get on to the main road. The map here is so awkward. Agent Morgan. What? I can't help noticing you prefer to work alone. Yeah. Most of the time, yes. Don't Fuck. you get lonely? Flying all over the country alone? I must say, I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, no. relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women. You might be surprised to hear. Well, that's because you're young. Ah. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat women carefully, like a thin crystal wine glass. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like yours, right? George, is this an interrogation? <laughs> I see you're a seasoned professional. Uh, but let's not talk about the <laughs> scar. It what was just happened? by a problematic woman. Well, well, she got you good. Terribly good. It'll yeah. fade away, and nobody will notice it in a week. A week? Don't worry it's about it. light of a wound. Dude. Hi, hi, hi. Dude, they can't drive so, in this shit. Emily, tell me, is there really a need for a full-time sheriff in a small town like this? I'm sure it is small to your city eyes, but any gathering of people leads to all yeah. kinds of problems. Fights, runaways, <gasps> stray pets. You're too fixated on violent crimes. Our job is to guide the people along the correct path, first and foremost. That's what I consider to be my duty as the sheriff of Greenvale. Zach, there he is, the monarch in all his glory. Kind of makes me glad that I wasn't born here. Did you say something? No. Nah. Morgan? We're good. No, nothing, George. I was just reflecting on a little history. Well, we're in the middle of a homicide investigation. Keep your mind on the matter at hand. Okay, okay. which right now is driving. Shall we? Basically, this is the turbo. Yes, this game has turbo. Don't crash on me. Usually crashes during loading screens. That's a pretty big hospital. I guess they wanted to be ready for uh, town-wide food poisoning. No, no, it's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. Oh, it's one of those towns. I can imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold rush, she used to say. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. Mm. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this place. It pains me to watch my hometown lose so many citizens. It's sad to see a town go down like that. Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Indeed. And that's why this case is our problem. There really isn't any need for you to get too involved. Then why am I here? I am. If you stand out here any longer, your shirt is going to be see-through. Not that I'm complaining. Bait. Use it with fishing rod to go fishing. Yes, you can fish, but I've never seen it done. Probably not going to... Probably not going to do it either. Hi, Fiona. Hello, Agent York. Hi. We've come for the results of the autopsy. Is Usha around? Hello, Sheriff. I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. What's he doing? I don't know. 
He never discusses his work with me. You'll just have to ask him yourself. Thanks. We'll go find him. You're reading again today. What? This was different from last time. Yeah. So because I played it I've before. I've become fond of mysteries recently. The doctor is always telling me to read some dry old medical journal. It's not really fair because he only reads chess magazines himself. So I cover them up like this to keep him off my back. <laughs> I can tell you're working hard then. But I really like that about the doctor, to tell the truth. Uh huh. Hmm. Fiona? Oh, I'm sorry. I just got a little. Don't worry. Such feelings are nothing to be ashamed about. I hope things work out for you. Thank you, Agent. This is different from when I was there last time. Huh. That was different. Wait. Okay. So, what we're gonna do now is gonna find the, the good man's office, which should be. Is it this way? I don't remember. Yes. And here comes the dumbest fucking. This is why I'm so sad over the fact that my recording fucked out because I had a b oh the rage fits I had with this oh god we couldn't find him Fiona needs to check her information no I don't think so does the doctor like playing games by any chance what do you mean look around There's shit a for message brains. on the computer and a card key already set in place. The king passes the rook yeah, keep, and pay attention. meets the bishop. The knight takes a pawn along for the queen. What does that all mean? It's a simple puzzle. Zach, let's take him up on his challenge. You can do this. No. The dumbest thing ever. Okay, so basically here you think the like, king passes rook to meet the bishop. Here's how I thought it first and foremost. The ki okay, so you take king, right? No, wait, that's not the one. Uh, the king passes the rook, meaning the rook first, right? Uh, then the king uh, to meet the bishop. Then the knight takes the pawn to see the queen. That's wrong! You know what you're supposed to do? That's not what I meant. Get in. Thank you. Basically, I shit you not when I say this. The king passes the rook to meet the bishop knight takes the pawn to the queen like f fuck anyone who thought of this <laughs> mm. all the emotions only one awaits below with the deceased another code but there's nowhere to insert a password no need More games i'm going to get fiona to call usha up here right now why didn't you no, do no, that from George. the start, fuck with The message appeared with the card key. It's telling us where to use it. This is not the time to be joking around, Agent Morgan. Dr. Usha is below with the deceased. With Anna. Below being underground, I take it. Ha-ha! Simple. Simple. <laughs> simple. 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 Malkovich. Malkovich. Then Malkovich. it's time to meet the mischievous architect of this little game. Nah. Hey, we win! Woo! Okay. I hate this puzzle. I spent so long doing this. Oh my god. It was so beautiful. Yes, me looking at the screen, just going, fuck, shit, goddammit, piece of shit, motherfucker, and things like that. So, variations of those. Boink! Excuse me? Yup. Wait, no. Oh, we're going this way. Oh, it's locked now? For fuck's sakes. I went that way last time. Does it actually change paths? I mean, that would be kind of cool. Well, apparently it does. Hmm. Fair enough. For real. Oh god damn it. This hospital is gonna be the death of me. Uh. 
Now then. Go here, use key card on door, door open. Beep beep. Boop 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 boop. That didn't sound like a door open, it sounded like a shotgun. Boink. Let's see where he is. Hello there, doctor. You can go through here if you wanted to. No point in it really, because you've got nowhere to go. You you can uh, basically go in that door and go around, but you can't. I'll show you. Yes, This is how pissed off I was at the time. Got in here, felt like, oh, this thing's around cool, neat, okay, great. You can't do anything with it yet. Think like, oh, there's the, do there's the doctor, and I go to the, and then I go to open it. It's locked. You can see the doctor sitting right there. I'm pointing at the screen for some reason. Uh, you can see the doctor sitting right there, right? Mm -hmm. You can see the body there, and this glass. You can bang on the window. You can do nothing, uh, something like that. No, you, have, you need to basically run around. You have to waste more time. Go over here, click this door, and there you go. Oh, God, Jesus Christ, this fucking guy. Enough bullshit, stand up. Usher, sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, you made it. Let's get started, shall we? Mm -hmm. This is Agent Morgan from the FBI. Hmm, nice to meet you. I'm Usher Johnson, the doctor in this hospital. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. What? Please, call me York. Everyone calls me that. And then her in the background? <laughs> Very well, Agent York. Look at that weird handshake. Are you a forensic practitioner? Well, let's just say I've dealt with corpses before. That battle Spare of time thing. by the way. Did you create that yourself? Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see if our FBI agent could handle the task. <laughs> I see. Well, it was pretty fun. No, it wasn't. I'm glad you liked it. Dumbest we don't have shit much time. ever. We need those autopsy results. Next time, try challenging us without obstructing an investigation. You've angered the monarch. Shall we? Can we ex From the poke at the corpse? Mortis, the stiffening of the muscles. The time of death is estimated to be between 20 and 2200 hours. Uh, that's still quite early for such a crime to take place. Note that there are two exterior wounds. Pressure marks around the neck. Mm -hmm. And a long cut running from chest to abdomen. Kind of hard to miss. Blood marks on her right hand tell us she was gripping something round in her right hand. Like flat round or round as in like handle round. For some reason everybody watches their hands. Not sure why. Her skull is also fractured. But that is unrelated to the cause of death. Uh-huh. It probably happened to her after she was killed. Interesting. Now, I first thought death by suffocation due to the marks on her neck. Mm -hmm. But after further investigation, I now have a different conclusion. Go on. The direct cause of death was loss of blood from the wound. Yep. Meaning? Go on. Which means? Go on. She was cut up while she was still alive. Yep. Nasty. Yes, uh, a sharp knife was used. It was inserted beneath the sternum a sharp and then knife quickly was used, sliced downwards. The excessive loss of blood from her internal organs is what actually killed her. Hmm. Her nails That'd do are it. clean, and with no skin cells from the attacker. She also doesn't appear to have been bound nor badly beaten. She was apparently killed without resistance. Hmm. The most tragic thing, however, was that she was unable to speak her story to anyone who could hear her cries. Here's the creepy part for me, coming up in a few lines. Because that, also of course, means that... The perpetrator cut out Hannah's tongue. Yeah. How? I believe she was drugged first. Like that would make it better. And then the killer killed her. Yeah. Now, the killer most likely has a deep 
traumatized past concerning women. He probably cannot converse with them normally. So therefore he kills.